everyone, Jason Ballas with Outdoor Product Review. Welcome back for our 2009 bow review. Today I am actually shooting the APA Black Mamba X MX2 that they have out this year. All right, this is, uh, you saw the Viper last year's review and I was really, really impressed with it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I shot that thing quite a bit. So um, I definitely was, definitely was entertained with shooting that bow. All right, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the MX2 here. All right, like the Viper last year, APA came out with some really cool designs and stuff with their bows. It came out with this limb hook. You can set this bow basically on a limb right there, have an arrow on it, and you're out rattling or grunting or elk calling or whatever you're doing, and the bow sits there ready to go. All you have to do is reach up, grab the bow, and you're ready to rock. All right, one of the other things they came up with, last year they had this as well. They have the broadhead sharpener here. So if you shoot a fixed blade broadhead or something that needs sharpening, you can run it through there. I shoot the Adams. They don't need sharpening, but this is a great thing to have. All right? They also have the broadhead adjustment. You could uh, put your broadhead in there, screw it. It's got multiple, multiple angles, so whatever kind of broadhead you have, it'll fit in there. You screw it, tighten it on, make sure your broadhead's nice and tight. They also have the knock adjuster. Take your knock, stick it in the two holes here. You guys will see pictures of all of this stuff right now. You can turn it, twist it, move your knock around without biting it or whatever the case is and pinching your knock. So that's a great thing that they have on there as well. Now one of my favorites is from when we're up elk hunting, Jody and I are always up high in the mountains, and we want to, uh, you know, you're carrying your bow all the time by the string. And, uh, you know, I had a knock actually move. I tie in my knocks on my hunting bows, and uh, it actually moved on me from carrying it all week. And uh, I ended up, I was shooting about seven inches low, which wouldn't have been good if I had a chance at a big bull. However, they've come out with the old handle on their, uh, their, their riser, which is, this is one of the, the most signature items on the APA bows that I've seen for the uh, last few years. And this is something I just love. You can just grab this bow off the shelf, you'll hold it in your hands like this while you're hiking, your quiver will, your quiver will be on the outside, no problems at all, right? It's ready to go. They got an awesome camo pattern on there. And uh, other than that, you know, the, the makeup of the riser is pretty much about the same. You know, it's got this nice limb hook like we talked about, the handle, the broadhead sharpener, the broadhead wrench, and also the, uh, the knock adjuster, right? So the riser is complete throughout, lots of cutout, makes it nice small. It's only 4.1 pounds, very nice and comfortable and easy to carry. They've got the, uh, the sound vibration dampening limb jacks on it, and it's really, uh, really nice. It absorbs all the shock. Beyond parallel limbs, you can look at that right there. It comes straight out across. Awesome. All right. Hi, folks. I just wanted to break in here in the, in the review and cover something that I didn't cover in the main review, but I think it's very important. Uh, APA on the MX2 here. I'm getting ready for a Mouflon sheep hunt out here in Hawaii. And uh, I'm setting up the bow, and I've been looking over some stuff, and there was one thing I did miss, and this was their little cam lock module that they have. Uh, if you're out there hunting and something happens with your string or you need to replace your string, you don't have a bow press or you don't want to carry a bulky portable bow press, they already did it for you. And it's right here on the riser, I'm going to show you, there's a little metal rod right there, as you all can see. This metal rod, what you do is on the other side is a set screw. You take it out with an Allen wrench, the rod comes out the front here, all right? Then you take it on your cam, if you look here on the cam, let me get the camera position right, there's these holes that line up here. What you do is you stand, holding onto your handle here, stand on the string, pulling the bow back as if you're drawing the bow with your feet. Then you take the pin and you stick it through one of those holes, making sure that you're even on both sides of the riser or the limbs. And uh, then you let down slowly, and all the tension will be let off your uh, your, your bowstring. You can change the bowstring out, add a peep sight, do whatever you need to do. I mean, it has different slots for the amount of pressure you want released from the bow. Now it's very important, of course, before you shoot this, that you uh, take that pin out. So um, you just to take it, but take it out. You reverse the process. You stand on the string, pull it up, pull the pin out, slowly let down on the bow. All right. Make sure all your cables and all your strings and everything align in the set grooves that they're supposed to align in, and you'll be good to go. Take the pin, place it back in the front here, and you go ahead and uh, set the set screw on it, and you're ready to go. But, you know, APA has come out with some awesome stuff the last couple of years, and they always keep going one notch better every single year. And uh, that right there, that's another awesome thing. So why don't we go ahead and watch the rest of this review. One of the other things that they have, 75% let off, you know, so you can hold the bow back for, uh, for a good bit. Of course, when you're comfortable shooting all the time, 
you, you know, shouldn't have any problem at all. All right, you're pulling back this. It's got the STS to absorb the shock. You don't really need much on here. Looks like they got some little string accelerators that are uh, actually rubberized to to absorb the shock. All right, they came with a knock, which is something I always like when a boat company sends it already ready to uh, be set up. The brace height on the Black Mama MX2 is, is seven and three eighths, which is a nice long brace height. Gives you that short little axle to axle of 32 inches. And it uh, makes it really easy to uh, get out there and and uh, sling an arrow down range or sling an arrow an animal, right? You know, once again, you're carrying this bow like this, and this is just something that I love. I have, I've loved the APA bows when they have these things. It's my second year testing one. So why don't we go ahead and do the draw test and sort of see what it's like. 372 grains, all right? We're shooting it out of the, the Mamba MX2. We're ready to go, all right? Put our true fire release on there and go ahead and draw back. It comes back nice and smooth. It comes right through the valley, right to a solid wall. Let's feel the creep. You got about a sixteenth of an inch of creep in there. Not too bad. If you set it, if you hold it solid, you're good to go. All right. See, torque-wise, bow doesn't really torque at all in your hands. Got a very thin neck on it. You hold it like you're waving at the bow, and you can sit there holding your hand. All right, so yeah, that's the only thing I have to see is that it does creep just a little bit, but then again, you know, you're going to have some speed out of this bow. Let's go ahead and shoot this bow, see how, how, how it sounds and how it feels. Just going to touch my top two fingers. There wasn't any hand shock at all in that, in that shot. There was no hand shock at all. A little bit of noise. Uh, I think the noise might be coming from the rest here, though. It's sort of set out there, the hostage rest, like I was using on all the other bows. All right, let's go ahead and shoot that one more time. All right, you saw that first shot? A little bit of noise. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but uh, you guys are going to be able to see not only shooting from this angle, but you're going to be seeing it shoot, shot at the target right now as well from this other camera we have right here. So let's go ahead and draw this bow back and see how it does. Once again, nice and smooth coming back. Don't want to creep. All right, pretty good. Be okay. Um, definitely, it, sa it sails the arrow down there fast. So let's go ahead and shoot through the chronograph. We're going to see how it goes. All right, folks. So you know, overall on this bow from APA, I'm definitely going to have to give it about a 9.9, 8.5 to 9.9. Definitely. Great shooting bow. A little bit of noise involved, but that could be, you know, fixed with just some string leeches and, uh, of course, a uh, stabilizer on the front, and then you wouldn't have any at all. Definitely a speed bow. You can see right here, it's shooting 306 feet per second. Both shots that I shot, the first two shots were 306 feet per second, and it, overall it averaged out to be about 306, 305. But great shooting um, bow. You know, doesn't have any torque at all comes back solid wall you know it creeps a little bit but you know that's that's sort of how you had it this year the viper was awesome last year this is basically right in between the king cobra and the viper great shooting bow nice long draw length it's forgiving smooth uh, i like you know all the accessories are a 10 in my book you know how it is i like anything that makes it easier for it holding the bow putting a bow on a limb when you're ready that is a 10 in my book i like to thank apa archery for uh, participating the second year in a row. Um, I have a uh, feeling that there's going to be some great things coming out from APA here in the near future. So, you know, for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. We're going to see you on our next bow review.